These are the things I uh, visited in one day in Cape Town. I hired a driver and asked him to take me to each one of these places. I didn't do tours because the tours, doing different tours, uh, it would take longer and I wasn't able to do all of them in one day because I was short in time. So it was more efficient to hire a driver. I started with this colorful neighborhood. Then I went to the Boulder Beach and these are not very close to each other. The colorful neighborhood or waterfront and this area is a quite a long drive. Uh, so I went to the Boulder Beach to visit the penguins. To visit the penguins, um, there's an entrance fee. The entrance fee was, at that, was not that expensive. I don't remember exactly, but it was only a few dollars. Some people, some blogs, uh, vloggers talk about it that it's better to see the penguins right after the sunrise because they are more active. So I got here around 11 a.m. They were resting. It was a sunny day. So I don't know if that's true or not, that if you go right after the sunrise, they are more active. It's very common in Cap Cape Town to see the baboons. Um, you see them everywhere on the streets. Then I went to the area, which is the Cape of the Good Hope. There are two things to see with one entrance fee. There's this lighthouse that you take a tram or you hike, and then it's not a long hike, and the view is really nice. And then there's another one with the sign of the Cape of the Good Hope. They all in one area, not walking distance. You have to drive. They're pretty far from each other, but with one entrance fee, you can see both of them. This was pretty expensive. Uh, not that expensive but compared to other things that the entrance fee was just only a few dollars this one the entrance fee was more it was like maybe 30 dollars 25 30 something like that i don't remember the exact amount but i know it was more than a lot more than the other uh, places no, it's okay And this is a sign that everyone comes and take a picture with them. And this sign is very iconic. Then is the ostrich farm, which this one avoided if you can, because it was really not much. It's just a farm that they raised these ostriches for sale. And because in Cape Town, in the restaurant you see in the menus, they have the ostrich and they eat it. So that one, you can bypass it. There wasn't anything interesting about it. And then this is a table, uh, table mountain. And uh, there's a cable car that you can go up. I pay the fast track because the line was extremely high. So I did the fast track for the cable car. So you can bypass that long line. And it was about $37, um, but it was worth it. And that's the Robin Island in the distance. At night, I went to this restaurant in the waterfront. It was the, what I ordered, it wasn't good. So I don't know if it happened to be, it was a traditional food, um, African, South African traditional food, but it wasn't good. It was meat uh, with rice, but it was so sugary. They added so much sugar and um, there wasn't any like other taste except too much sugar. I don't know why uh, this food really didn't need to have the, to be that sweet. So it was not good at all.